Hello, I'm Tina. Um, let's continue. Uh, last uh, step, we mentioned our web container, our simple web container can only handle one client at a time. And uh, this usually is not the case in, in reality because uh, we need to handle more, we need to suspect we have multiple clients uh, coming to our uh, server side at the same time. But when I am testing, I cannot test, I cannot mimic the problem, okay? Which means have the request come to the uh, container at the same time. I, there are some tools which you can do. But I don't have it in handy. So let's do. So in order to do that, we have to have a, let me stop here. We have to have a thread to actually handle the requests. So how about we create another class called the socket handler, okay, to handle each socket. And each socket that you can either implement runnable or extend from the thread, okay. And uh, when we extend from thread, there's a method called what? There's a method called uh, run. We, have, we can override. And uh, here I will accept a socket. Private socket socket. Okay. And uh, do, 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 do. And the public socket handler. When initialize this so socket handler, it has to give me the socket. And da, 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 socket equals s. Okay. And uh, in this run, we will do whatever previously doing here. Okay. Which is this part. Okay. This part. And uh, here, I think it's gonna throw exception. Okay, let me put all the things inside. Okay, okay, put all the things inside. So here I have socket, I can handle right, and now I have to start the run. Right, we can using polymorphism. And here uh, they ask me to give socket, so we just give socket, socket handler dot start right, which is start the thread. So every time when a client comes, we will using a new thread to we will we will uh, create a new thread and associate with this request and to hand that. And uh, then the main thread can keep listening or accept more clients. Okay, that is uh, to solve a problem. So now let's run to see if it uh, works. Okay, mm, I predicted any work. Okay, obviously when I write the demo, when I before I recording video, I, I actually I have to do some test, right? I wrote it and then <laughs> show you guys. I cannot uh, like uh, one time, then everything works. Okay. I have to be prepared. Really. So let's go to localhost uh, 8888, right? 8888, uh, see, see it's already, it's already have a socket is closed. This is the exception. Why it has this exception? It because of here. The reason uh, we talk about what is a try with resources. Try with resources, which is after this block is done, the so it will automatically cl close the socket. And we know that it's uh, after this one down, there's another thread is uh, continue running and using the socket. But in this try catch, it's already closed. That's why it doesn't work. So to solve this problem, we just using we can using regular try. Mm -hmm. 
we're using regular try or just do like this because it's already three exceptions okay we just do like this and we will but if we leave like this way do you remember last uh, at the beginning we leave like this way then the browser will keep uh, like uh, loading because the socket here we didn't close right the socket here we didn't close and in our socket handler we also didn't close that's why at, uh, to solve that keep loading we add a try with resources but now we don't need that anymore because we will close the socket in our child thread in our thread okay so what we will do here is after this one is done we can add a finally do you remember after try it down we will add a finally in the finally we will add a socket dot close and this will have three exception we can add another try catch okay and to close our socket okay because if we as a beginning if we close here you will see socket is closed and now here we are continually using the socket okay so that's why it doesn't work so now let's rerun and see and when we close the socket it will close the input stream and output stream uh, or if you don't uh, want you can also using in dot close and out dot close is it called out oh oh i cannot get out uh, we have to put this out if you don't worry we can put this out uh, like this way mm -hmm. then here we have out equals let me format okay then you can using like uh, out of the close in out of the close like this okay and then now let's uh, rerun Okay, and now go to our browser URC and uh, we can every time you make a request it's gonna be changed so now we already changed our what thing uh, we already changed our simple web container can handle multiple clients at the same time using thread okay so next step uh, what we're gonna do See you in next video <laughs> okay thank you for watching my videos and uh, bye bye